What SBUS problem occurs with the O4 and ELRS? He means, if so it's because you got a drone that has the SBUS wire attached. Mm -hmm. the, the reason is because uh, in the DJI can use a DJI radio. So for some reason, on the O4 and the O3, they output a signal on that even if you don't have a DJI radio bound. So that blocks the signal from other things on that UART. So the, so the reason is not, you know, it's it's just an S-Bus problem because a, something it's else a, is it's the, flight the same UART. It's really the flight controller designer who's at fault, in my opinion. Although I understand sure. why they did what they did. Look at the pinout diagram for the Speedy B F405. I, and by the way, I just picked this one because it's a popular one and I know it's affected by this issue. Hang on, got to scroll to the right location. Almost there. Okay, um... Look at the plug for the DJI Air unit. Here we go. Here's the DJI Air unit. Did I scroll too much? Come on. I want it bigger. There it is. Okay. Um, so the S bus wire, this yellow wire goes to R2. It's a little hard to read that. I don't know if you can read that. Here, we'll zoom in slightly. Um, the S bus wire goes to R2 on the flight controller. That means that that wire is connected to UART2. Great. If we look at the top of the flight controller, you can see that they show the receiver. The receiver, they show it wired to UART2. And the idea here is that if you're not using DJI, why not give you access to UART2? If you're going to direct solder your receiver, solder it to UART2. If you're going to plug in DJI, put it, put the receiver on UART2. It would be silly to put UART2 in that plug and nowhere else. Because then if you're not using that plug, because you're not using DJI, you've just wasted a UART. Right? But the problem is that if you plug the DJI Air unit in and you put the receiver on UART2, now you have two things on UART2. You have the SBUS wire and you have the receiver and they, they are conflicted. So you just have to know that you can only use each UART for one thing at a time. Now, as Blunty points out, the weird thing about this is that DJI could say, if there is nothing, if I'm not bound to a, to a, a DJI RC controller, then don't output anything on the SBUS wire. And then it would just work. But they don't do that. Even when you're not using the DJI RC controller, there is signal on that SBUS wire that conflicts with your crossfire or whatever, your express LRS. So the workaround is to take out that yellow wire and so that it is not connected to UART2 and then everything is fine. Or just use a different UART, assuming you can, you can, um, you don't, you don't need that UART for something.